Hi, welcome to another GPC Hammer Source SDK video tutorial brought to you by Abe of GamePublicist.com. Thank you for subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the forums. Due to the interest of a handful of GPC team members, I'm going to start releasing brief videos on various gaming development subjects on a daily basis, or at least as close to a daily basis as I can. This video tutorial will be using the block tool to make some very simple stairs. Then we'll go into warp drive and quickly make stairs in the most insane way possible using a single block and the clipping tool. Don't try this at home. Assuming that you've used the block tool before and you know how to use the snap to grid feature, um, shift to W, you can uh, go ahead and adjust your grid using the bracket. Adjust your grid so that the smallest increment is 8. Alright, so from the top down view, draw out a box using the block tool that is 16 by 64 and then go over to your side view. Now we're going to set the height to 8, which is just the height of about your ankle, I suppose. So in our top-down view, we have a 16 by 64 block, and in our side view, it is 16 by 8. Now if we go ahead and hit enter, we will have our block. Now I'm quickly going to choose a texture that is nice for uh, developing with, which if you just go to your texture browser and type dev in the filter, we're going to select this texture right here, the measure generic, and it's just a nice uh, texture that lets you see what you're doing. Um, in Gmod maps, you know, you don't have to worry about specifics perfectly, but it's uh, still nice to have a general reference of what you're doing. So I went ahead and applied that texture. Okay, so as you can see, it has four nice visible blocks and they're one tall. I'm going to go ahead and just simply uh, make sure this is aligned in an easy to understand way for myself. Go ahead and now I'm just going to click on the X, hold shift, and drag it over. So we just duplicated it. Now I'm going to click the top bracket and expand it. Hold shift click, drag over, select the block, and drag it up. Shift click drag, expand height. Shift click drag, expand height. Shift click drag, expand height. Okay, so now you've got the basic understanding of how to make a simple stairway setup. If we go to 3D view here, you'll see we've made just a simple stairway. It's nice and smooth and if you uh, look at the grid you can see how it's aligned with the cubes um, and it gives you a general idea of the sizing of everything. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make stairs in the most insane way possible. The reason that I'm showing you how to do this today is because it's going to give you various ideas on different things you can do with the uh, editor and just a general uh, perspective of how simple it truly is to do very complex things in this editor. But keep in mind that it can be dangerous depending on your skill level at the moment and so if you do something crazy you may break your map so make sure to save different versions and uh, try to recognize um, when you're doing things that are very strange and keep note of it okay so I just drug out this box I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and you see we've just got this big huge cube okay now to the clipping tool you can click the clipping tool or you can use shift X Alright, so with the snap to grid here, and uh, as I demonstrated, the grid setting is uh, in an 8x8 eight eight increment. 
So you select your box, and then hit Shift X, and on the top or side view, just click in one point, and then click and drag down, and if you hit Enter, it all disappears. So what we're going to do is hit Control Z, select it again, now hit Control X, click and drag, you'll see one side's white, one side's red. Go ahead and hit Shift X again, other side's red. Now go ahead and hit it one more time. It's white on both sides. It's not going to delete anything. Enter. Same thing again. Enter. Again, enter. And do this all the way across in a nice even increment. Okay, so now we just slice this into a bunch of blocks. And we're on the side view. We're going to go ahead and we're, uh, for this set of stairs, they're going to each be 16 high because you can still walk up 16. We're going to hit enter. Drag and hit enter. Drag across and hit enter. Drag across and hit enter. Drag across and hit enter. Okay, so look at all the blocks we just made. Now remember, this is not a typical way to do this at all. I'm just uh, giving you a jump ahead in understanding what you can do with the slice tool or the clipping tool and uh, one of the ways that isn't going to damage your system too much. So now all I'm doing is clicking and selecting each cube that I don't want and hitting the delete key. And bam, we just made a really crazy stairway. It's made out of a bunch of cubes. If we go ahead and control click all of these cubes, then we can go ahead and once we control click them all, just like I did here, hit control G, and now they're in a group. And so if you click away and then you click this, you'll still get just the stairway that you made. So even though you've got like 25 or 50 pieces here, you actually have created one single thing. And the next and final step that you could do if you did something as insane as made so many blocks is you can hit uh, Control T and make it a funk detail object and just hit apply. And now the stairway with a lot of blocks will be rendered as a uh, model entity instead of just a simple brush. That covers this tutorial for today. Um, have fun making stairways. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us at GamePublicist.com to find the continuation of these tutorials.